Hello there. So, as you can probably see from the title of today's video, we are going to be customizing a dollhouse. This is part one out of two, plus the little stop motion animation that will be created um, from this dollhouse. I had already created a previous dollhouse before, but I have now left it in Belgium and I'm here in France and I would like to explore different rooms and to explore different styles as well for the dollhouse. Excuse me. <clears throat> getting over a cold. The old dollhouse was red and I'm thinking about something a little bit different this time. I'm still keeping within my own style or something that I would like but just experimenting a bit. So from eBay I have purchased this dollhouse. Ooh, this dollhouse. I hope you can see it. So it's a two for dollhouse. You can open the top bit and then open also the doors. One, two. But today's video will be really focusing on um, the outside area, my cat's eating. And so I have some examples of exterior stuff that I would like to um, explore. As stated, the old dollhouse was red, this one will be blue. It'll be like a, not like a very vibrant blue either, it'll be a bit faded maybe, but dark, but not too dark. Blue, and it has nice windows too that can open and close. Nice wooden dollhouse. It is always nice to keep these things the way that they are, but at the same time, if you were to look at, maybe I can put some footage, such as the wallpaper inside especially. It's just very damaged, a little bit of water damage too, and because it's old, so that is expected. So hopefully we can give it a new life and give it a little bit of a um, spruce. So that's how it looks. And like this, and then the back is just plain. Whee! Next week's video will be all the interior and I have lots of ideas already for the interior. Um, different colors for different rooms, adding maybe a bathroom as well. So very exciting. Now we're going to be cutting the shingles, so the roofing. Um, I have bought this foam, these foam sheets, but I decided to do it here. Open up the window because it has a chemically smell, which I am not too um, happy with. I have already bought foam sheets before like this with the same material and they never really smelled, but this one is a bit, uh, it's pretty strong, so I hope it's okay to use still. And I will like coat it over afterwards with some stuff and paint and everything. So hopefully that's fine. Yeah, foam, like really new foam smell. A bit like, like, uh, but good, but not good. Smells that you'd get in when you're in playgrounds, when you're really young, um, when you're a child and you go to those like public playground things indoor ones and they're all those like foam toys to play with and plastic things to like bump against same smell
Well, I'm happy on my own Making coffee just for one And eating breakfast all alone Okay, so it's just a hat. It's a bit cold in here done. at the moment. It's also comforting. Here's the result of what I did last night. Um, so it's like this, and then the back side is the same, the same effect. I will go over it with then with a, a bit of Mod Podge or something to just seal it all together and also make it feel a little bit more finished. Now the goal is to take these little wood things that I also cut up last night and glue them along so you have a bit of a, a bit of wood paneling going on and then we'll have to you know cut around all these little nooks and crannies as people, some people might say. I do appreciate um, the design that went into it so I did decide so I do want to keep certain elements still within it so for example these lamp posts how it's designed I want to um, I took some photos of them and I want to replicate them then in clay and maybe hang them then in three-dimensional in 3D um, and maybe the flower pot as well maybe keep one here just these little elements I would still like to keep Finally, the back bit, which is a bit less annoying <laughs> just because of all the little um, windows and roofing as, roof as well. I'm having to cut it all. But now, I think for the back, I don't want it to just be one long strip of paneling either. So I want to create some sort of pattern, just a little bit so that it looks normal, shall we say. We will glue them this way and then have so down the middle of one. So each one will go down the middle of the other. I think that could be nice. So this will be the first video I think I post in a little while. Um, the plan was and still is to do a video every single week. So I went to the UK recently to visit my sister for her birthday, um, a surprise birthday party. I had filmed a video that I thought that I could post when I was away to keep up with the little timeline I gave myself. But in the end, the video it wasn't, I don't, I didn't like it. <laughs> it wasn't good in my mind. This is just a little intermission as I place all these on, just to explain. Um, but the video was on was me making a gift for my sister for her birthday and it was a late night chats and creation thing um, I'll put a timestamp or something to, so that you know where to rewind to if you don't care about all of this which is completely okay <laughs> um, so yeah so I made a late night chat thing and talking about grief because of the video that I posted recently, the short video um, about losing, in a way, or saying goodbye to your childhood home. And so I decided to talk about grief. I'm also going through my own little grieving period at the moment. So I thought it was very suiting for the situation. But I just didn't have much to say because I, I, it's sometimes hard to say what you have in your mind, um, what you want to express. It's hard to say it and record it and edit it and when I was recording it, it all sounded fine and you know like it made sense but as soon as I started 
um, editing it and listening back to it, I just didn't want to. I didn't really want to listen to it, so I thought, who else is going to want to listen to it if I don't want to listen to it? So I didn't do it. And I scrapped that video. Maybe these would work. So if we have one in the middle-ish. Wow, perfect. Okay, yeah. Great. So I'm going to glue these now. And yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jamie Oliver's pasta maker.
So here is the final dollhouse. Everything outside is basically done next week or maybe the week after, depending how much time I have, will be dedicated to everything inside. So the dollhouse, just to show you all, can still open up normally. And then here as well can also open up. The inside is still the exact same as it was before, but it will then be divided. So here will be the bathroom, the bedroom, living room, and kitchen. Very simple, nothing too fancy. Um, but I would really like to try doing wallpapering, fake wallpapering, so painting my own, and also doing more tiling, like from my old dollhouse with the tiling um, patio. I'm pretty happy with it. So yeah, and this can just turn on by screwing the light, like so. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do like it, do um, subscribe, like, comment, all those things. Um, if you like to see more especially, uh, thank you very much. And I hope to see you next week or the week after, depending. So goodbye. Well, I'm happy on my own. Making coffee just for one And eating breakfast all alone and Fewer dishes to be done I'm never running behind You're never on my mind